don't have enough light in your trunk. You can't see your groceries at night. You've changed the bulb to an LED one and still not enough light. Here is the perfect solution, the Ledinator 3000. Hello and welcome. In this video I will show you how to convert a cheap single LED bulb into a multi LED bulb that outputs a bit more light. If you ever owned or own at the moment a four focus mark one you know that there isn't uh, too much light in the trunk because of the position of the lamp i originally had the halogen one the one on the right but after that i changed it to an led but it still didn't work as i wanted so i made my own now let's begin here I cut out a piece of plastic, I measured it out before so it can hold my three LEDs and it will fit inside the casing. If you want to add more LEDs you can make it longer or wider. You can peel the excess plastic, maybe use the exacto knife or cutter and uh, yeah, some finishing touches with the Dremel replica. Here I shave off some excess plastic with the knife and make the final shape. Test it if it fits in the T10 casing and it looks like it's pretty good. Now the next step. I marked out some spots where I want to drill the holes and I drill the holes. As simple as that. I use a 1.5 mm drilling bit because I know the LED's legs will fit right into those holes. If you have a drill press or just a stand for your drill it makes things so much simpler. I just... Uh, didn't have one at hand and I kinda improvised. Try to drill as exactly as you can. If you don't drill the holes well enough, the LEDs won't sit in a line. In a straight line I should say. And it will look pretty ugly. Now for the next step. You insert the LEDs in the holes you just made, make sure to orient them in the proper way because otherwise you fuck up just as I did and I had to desolder the LEDs and like reorient them and that took like pff, extra 10 minutes. After you plug the LEDs in you can bend their legs so they stay in place for easier soldering process. When you're done bending the legs you can cut the excess wire. If you don't have a third hand, you can uh, get creative with the placement of the pieces you want to solder so they stay in place while you solder them. When you're done soldering you test out if everything will fit in place. You have uh, wires long enough to poke out on the T10 casing and uh, at the end you will add a resistor. If everything fits, looks like you've done a good job till now. Here I used a 1 kilo ohm resistor, but the recommended one was a 330 ohm resistor. I didn't have 330 ohm ones, so I kinda used the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Maybe I should have mentioned by now, but the LEDs are in series with a 1 kilo ohm resistor at one of the ends. Here you have a sheet schematic that I just draw. After assembly I tried out the LED strip so I know it works 100%. I used a battery that I had lying around. Here I put some shrink tubing on one of the leads so it doesn't short. After which I use a lighter to cause the tubing to shrink. Fast forward a bit. Now I test out again for the 1000th time so everything fits. After I'm sure that everything will stay in place I uh, put the whole thing together. After that I bend the legs so it will hold it in the plastic casing. Over here you can see exactly what I'm doing. You can use uh, some needle nose pliers if you can do it by hand. At the end I go outside and try it in the car. Over here I take the lamp out, take the existing bulb out 
after which I uh, plug in my custom bulb and uh, take a look if the orientation is correct. If not, I will have to change the leads. Luckily for me, I had to change the leads because the LEDs are in the wrong direction. After I'm done messing around with the leads, I uh, dump a lot of hot glue over the whole assembly so it will keep it in place. Make sure to put even inside the casing and uh, all over the wires. Just don't add hot glue on the LEDs. Wait it till darkness rises. After which I uh, went on a really dark street and test it out. It gives a bit more light than the existing LED that I had. I measured it with a Luxometer phone app. The single LED bulb gave off like 10 lux and my custom bulb gave off like, uh, I don't know, 20 lux. It's only a slight improvement. Oh well, what can you do? If you want to see more of these tutorials, or maybe you want to hear my silky smooth voice, or you just want to hear more of my really shitty sarcastic jokes, make sure to subscribe to my shitty channel. And for a free out.